to the league award this week. Yeah. Um, you know, it's great when you're going for both league and cup. You know, you do you dip in and in and out, and I suppose the cup the cup does be, um, <coughs> excuse me, the cup does be you know mentally it was refreshing because you you come away from the league for maybe a week, focus on something else, and then you're going back into the league fresh, um, in the mind. So um, yeah, we look forward to the league now again. But with so many changes in the team for the cup, is it hard to settle back into kind of league mindset then? No, I wouldn't think so. No, I think um, you know, it's, it's all collective. Everything we do, like it's even when you're on the bench, whatever you're doing, you're in the squad. I think I think that's one thing we have here is a collective mindset. So no matter who jumps in, jumps out, whatever way it goes, um, we all know it's for the the end goal. Like so, that's what the focus is. So that doesn't that never changes regardless what team plays. You know. Did you find it was a help for yourself growing playing the two cup games? Like, is it? Handy when you're trying to get back to full yeah. fitness like that. Hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, like I missed, I missed a lot there with the injuries that I picked up. Um, so games like that, from there was myself and there was another few who really needed minutes. And um, it, no matter how many friendlies you have, you know you can't you can't get that. Like so, it's great to have competitive fixtures like that where you're going out against fellas who are giving their all, you know, to to beat you. Um, so yeah, I I found it very very helpful for me like personally, and I know a couple of the lads did as well, you know. So. Them already around at the cup, they're great for for that. Like you know, get fellas back, uh, match fitness. You know, it's pr- priceless. It takes takes three, four, five games to get it, and um, they bode well then. You know, to get it. And what was fitness. the most recent injury? Was that a recurrence of the one you got at the end of April, or was it slightly different? It was yeah, it was a recurrence. Um, so it was just like uh, it's kind of just overloaded the ground. It's not even wouldn't even be major, but it was just. It's uh, it was niggling, and when it's niggling like that, um, yeah, you just know it could get serious if you don't, if you don't look after it and just step out and I'll, I'll get it sorted. And um, thankfully, you know, took what I did. Uh, so back now. And I suppose frustrating for it to happen at such an important time of the season, like you know, kind of in the middle of the European campaign. Yeah, it's it's extremely difficult to be fair. You know, mentally there just to be just to be sitting watching everything happen. Um, especially when I was used to being involved in everything, it was uh, it was tough. Um, yeah, so just injury in general, um, it's a mental test, and you know, any fella who was through it comes out the other side of it, fair play. Like. Um, and probably then the other side of it is that when you do come back, you might be a bit too eager to try and make up for last time. Is that something you have to kind of guard against as well? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you can't go. You know. When you do get back, your first training sessions, your first couple of weeks back, like you say, like you can't go trying to win the World Cup, and you know when you're out there first training session or whatever. So um, yes, yeah, I suppose you get that when you get older, you start re- realizing how to mind your body. So um, that's something you do when you you know you gauge yourself when you can when you can go and when you can't go and you know between talking to the staff then and everyone you know the physios and stuff, you kind of come up with a plan then to get you back properly without them um, like you say going going home and then. You're, you're out again kind of a thing like. But you have to seize your chances well, don't you, when you get it? Like the quality is in the squad, so if you get the nod to start or come on, you kind of have to impress. I think I think we've been good at that this year, you know, from the start. Anybody who's come off the bench or anything has had a mass, uh, massive impact. So um, to, to be fair, John would emphasize it, you know, to stay switched on because, you know, when, when you do with squads and if you don't play it for a couple of weeks, it is easy to... Uh, you're going to kind of you switch off, I suppose, for a little while. You, you, well, you can, like you know, but I think um, you know John has us has us going well here, and especially mentally making sure everybody, like I said, it's a collective goal at the end of the season that we're all thinking about, and we know that when you're like you said when you're called upon, you do have to you have to go out and produce, and um, you know I suppose the time you have the short to try and keep it. You had a big impact against um, Pats uh, just last week. Do you think like that? Could that ultimately be a point gained as opposed to two points lost? Yeah, I know. I was um, look, as you say, it's another another point on the board, another point, um, in the right direction, if 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 you will. Like, um, we were a bit disappointed. We felt we left a bit behind us, um, the way the game went and stuff. We thought maybe we could have came away with the win, but look, it wasn't to be. I think um. In my experience of you know being challenged, you know the last few years at the top, just that there's always twists and there's always you know there's always it's never you know there's always something happens and everyone says right 
this is it's almost like right that's that laid out in front of you it's never never like that there's always ins and outs and twists and turns and um, I think it'd be really naive for anybody to be saying or thinking oh that's it like uh, concentrating proper any of that kind of carry on you know it's, we just need to look at ourselves and get as many points as, on the board as we can in the in terms of the league for us so um, that's all we'll be thinking about and not looking at anybody else not you know not even not caring what they do what anybody else does it's just all about us going winning every game now from now till the end and that's that's all we can do. Yeah, you were flat that night, but the impact of the three subs, I mean, the three of you were involved in the goal by Josh at the end, so I suppose that's a pleasing aspect, really, that the three of you came on and made a difference. Yeah, well, definitely. Like I say, like you, like you were saying earlier about taking a chance and whatever, when you do get it. Um, so, you know, when you come on, it's uh, it's your job. You, you have to have an impact. You have to try to do something. So, thankfully, on that night, we, we did, like, you know, you know, it's a different day out there. Just the, you were probably aware of the whole Declan Rice um, talk with you over the last couple of days, where he's considering his international future. Just we'd say as someone plays in the League of Ireland, um, like, how would you feel about like sort of? Is it fair enough that he takes time to consider his future, or do you think sort of well people should actually sort of? Uh, like I wouldn't agree with it. No, I think it should be. In my my opinion, I think you should. You know. It should be the proudest. The proudest thing you do is put on the green jersey and go and play for represent your country. Like you know, so um, look, it wouldn't be for me. But look, I don't know what his circumstances are or what's what's going on with him. But um, just for me personally, it would be yeah, straight away you want to be given. You you'd want players in the squad that are you know willing to die for the cause kind of thing. You know, give it hundred and ten percent and want wanting to be there because so many in line to to get in. Like you know, and you've fellas working so hard to get in. Someone's humming on about it. You know, it's um. Doesn't look great either, like you know. So I wouldn't really agree with it now. And Carol, obviously, if if you another ring that and then Craven Kenner doing well at Liverpool, so he's mm -hmm. he has a very bright future, doesn't he? Yeah, um, he's flying, he's doing brilliant. Uh, I was not surprised though, like you know, because he's he's been doing it since he's young, you know, and he's such um, you know, if you talk to him, he's such a level-headed fella, you know, he doesn't get carried away with anything, and I think he um, he has all the tools to. to Give him every chance and to go and have a right go off it, like you know. So, and he's he's clearly liked over there, you know. So and and it's um it's credit to him, like such a massive club and everything, you know. And the lads running man, you know. Last few years just have uh, been through that academy. They've been producing some some really good talent, you know what I mean. And then um, they've been going across and you know, doing well and making careers for themselves. So long may that continue. Yeah, you can even do say that at all. Adam Brown and Adam Murray, Preston as well. Yeah, there's loads, you know, and it's no surprise because they're putting in the work in Ringman, you know, they're making sure all the coaches are going away, getting qualified, they're, you know, there's, if you drive past nearly every day, there's, there's some form of coaching going on in there, you know, so they're really um, uh, putting in the shift to make sure they do produce players.